All right, update time. It's uh, Christmas Eve day, whatever. Um, just working at the shop a little bit, and uh, it's pretty hard. It's pretty dry. It doesn't scratch too easy. I'm, I'm digging it. It is 33, almost 34 degrees in the shop, and it's like 8 degrees outside. 50 degrees yesterday and literally dropped. Um, we got some more parts coming. We already went over these. It's all for that. Finally got the rubber O-rings for the axle shafts. So that's good. So all the pieces, parts for that are in. So we can start doing that. But I opened this yesterday because these came in. Finally, um, I was on Amazon and they had used open box ones, which is cool. Saved, oh, I don't know. I think it was like uh, 60 bucks cheaper buying the open box ones. And uh, I found out why it was an open box. This one's got a little bend in it. Um, all complete, everything's here, looks good. Um, but there is a problem. Now I ordered one of each, and uh, as you can see, they sent me two identical ones. Um, the part numbers on the outside of the box were different. I don't know if you can read that, 926271, which is correct. It's going to be hard to read, but it's right there, 926271. Now this is um, driver side. This is also driver side. See, same thing. Only one of these was in the wrong box. So I'm not gonna send it back because uh, once I finish building this truck, I've got another one that I'm gonna you know, do the same thing with. So I'm gonna save it. I'm just gonna order another one. Um, like I said, these were, these were like 130 bucks on Amazon, but they had uh, other options if you scroll down used open box whatever and um, I think one of these was like 60 bucks and the other was 70 so it was worth it I mean if you go to your parts store you can get these from like advanced or whatever and they're like 200 and something dollars so unfortunately we're gonna have to wait to put that axle back together I can do all the other things I gotta pull the seals out of the hubs clean the hubs sand them get those painted same thing with that one over there. I got a couple little touch-ups here and um, I ordered new spring perches, or not spring perches, um, shock perches. I got those for the singles. I'm doing duels. Why? Why not? That's, that's how I'm looking at it. Why not? I also ordered um, front dual shock mounts for the top for the towers. Why? Like I said, why not? Um, the other stuff that came in, brakes. I haven't opened these yet, so I don't know how good these are going to look, but we are about to find out. Um, this is one of those cheap kits that supposedly has everything in it. I ordered front and rear calipers. Um, I know the fronts were good, but for this price, I think it was... Um, I want to say it was like 200 bucks, 250 bucks or something. Looking promising. Hey, hey, there we go. That looks like the front. No. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's the part number. Complete, ready to go. Just drop it on. Supposedly the only thing it's missing is the banjo bolt and so I got over because the ones that are in these are kind of nasty but that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're gonna get that scuffed and painted. Let's see how this one looks. Looks good to me. I like it. So we'll get we'll get those all cleaned up. 
and uh, I think those paint. Oh man, there's more boxes. Good lord. All right here. Well, looks like we got two different part numbers. So one for one side, one for the other. Let's see how they look. Okay. Looks promising. Looks close to me. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's a that's a win. Once again, no banjo bolts. We can we can get those. Um, not worried about that. I've also got um, full stainless steel brake line kit coming for this. Um, the only thing that it does not include is hoses. Uh, I found a guy online that has a full hose kit. Um, all five hoses, you got the two for the front, two for the rear, and then one for the center that hooks up right there. And that goes up to the uh, center section on the, act, on the uh, frame. So that should be coming in. I think that was around uh, $200 or something like that. The, um, the stainless steel brake line kit should go everything the description that it gave me was from the master cylinder to the ABS setup and then the full lines all the way back. So it should have everything. Um, I believe that was a little over $200 as well. So um, we should have that coming in. I think that's at next week along with the brake hoses. But until then, basically all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get these cleaned and prepped, painted, cleaned and prepped, painted, I'm gonna clean up some of this mess. And then I'm basically gonna get all of these prepped, painted, ready to go, ready to install, so that when I can come back next week or whatever, whatever I end up doing, we can finish getting this axle assembled, hubs, axles, and hopefully that other, uh, parking brake assembly comes in. Other than that, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, whatever. Uh, we'll see you next time.